Hey everyone, Nuno here, welcome back to Antica, and we have finally achieved the new milestone, which is, which was Buzzy Town. It took quite a lot of time to reach the 4,800 inhabitants. The main reason why it happened was because I started to do a little bit more beautification on the city, so a little bit more props and um, also rico buildings and stuff like that. But let's start with the beginning. Uh, well, well, lot of stuffs in here to, to, sh to be honest. So the first thing I did was a new bus uh, depot kind of. Um, not really bus depot, but a, a bus central area or bus park or I really don't know how you're gonna call it. Central station maybe, that's probably the best name. Completely customized this one, I built the roads myself and uh, all that stuff. Um, as you guys can see, there's this bus stop in here that has a lot more people on it. And then you have these other buses that have pretty much no one. And, and right now I noticed that there's missing a, <laughs> a sun protection on this bus stop. But yeah, which is, by the way, the, the one with more people. But yeah, it looks good. There's a few props in here. Uh, the bus depot, I changed location. There's a parking lot in here where you know people can park around here probably workers from here or maybe uh, someone that wants to go to the commercial area around here which is also okay uh, graveyard right next to it I I think I changed locations I'm not entirely sure also placed a few Rico buildings in here some warehouses there are industrial uh, buildings there it's not a hundred percent fulfilled the the industrial buildings in here but yeah, you can get some uh, content in here. It looks good, uh, in my opinion. Now there's this empty space, which I honestly don't know what I'm going to do. It's not buildable. Well, it is, but if I want to build something in this section, which I don't, because this is where you get the connection from the highway, I think. that It's the main, the main point of entry. Um, okay, so uh, after that what I did was of course a little bit more beautification and with Rico I got these uh, buildings, uh, I think it's from King, I can show you uh, in here. So it's these ones, the town center shops, I really like those, uh, I think it gives a bit more, I mean they're, they're pretty much the same, I had to repeat them all, all around this location. But it does look good in my opinion, and uh, yeah, it kind of works out. Although I have to be honest, this one is kind of out of the location. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Probably the problem with the with the with the lot, not itself, with the building. Either way, uh, these ones had to be connected into the um, the main avenue, which I really would prefer not to do that as you get noticed most of the buildings I've been building are not uh, focused on the main avenue to the exception of these ones we will see how the traffic flow works in around in here until now everything seems to be fine but yeah it's it's something that is happening another thing I built before I forget um, we now have a shopping or department store um, yeah I decided to build one of these unique buildings parking lot big parking lot next to it um, which is good. Also, this entire section is commercial, small commercials, by the way, but still good enough. Um, also, expanded a little bit more the residential in here, and we can and we will expand the commercial in here later on, of course. There was a few upgrades on the park. Apple Gates Park now has a viewing deck, as you guys can see. Uh, there will be other things. Oh yeah, there's there's something in here also. There's a tent camping site. Unfortunately, it's nearby a <laughs> a landfill. So this is something I have to take care of. Okay, I'm just let me just check if I already unlocked. No, I don't. I haven't yet unlocked the uh, incineration plant. That's something I really wish. Well, I do have incineration plants in here which is uh, from uh, the Steam Workshop, but I really don't want to use them. I'll, I'll wait for this one. When this unlocks, then I'll use this one because it's a, a large advanced in incineration plant. Probably it has a better capacity and uh, power output, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yes, it does have. So it's not a bad idea to build one, not only to produce electricity, but also to take care of garbage. So that's definitely something to have in mind. 
So until then, this will have to wait a little bit. Uh, other than that, uh, there's uh, also an expansion in here on Lafayette Park. Where is it? Here it is. Lafayette City Park. It's now going to the last tier. Um, we need still to improve the entertainment level, but we're still far away with, when it comes to uh, visitors. So whenever we reach the number of visitors, we will upgrade the... Uh, entertainment we don't really have that much space left I mean we do have this one in here uh, by the way it doesn't have any more defense in here so it's something I have to build but we do have a little bit of space in here maybe we could build something around here and increase the um, you know entertainment level over there now another thing you may have noticed which is nearby is the runabouts now I did change a little bit the runabout this is a better proper way to do the runabout uh, I can't do in all the all I cannot do all the roads with the same section. I mean I could do these ones, but it would require me to delete and erase a lot of things. Already to do this in here was a bit tough, but either way, I think it looks good. Also a little bit of props uh, in here. And it does look like a nice runabout to be honest. Uh, I really like it. Uh, could be better, of course, it could, but it looks good. It's not bad. It's like the main runabout. You have the Lafayette Park right next to it. And then you have like this commercial area. Also, the bus depot is nearby, so everything looks great and awesome. All right. Uh, also, I did extend this uh, avenue up to here. I will eventually have to change it a little bit. And. Sorry guys, my cell phone was uh, doing some strange noises in here, so really sorry for that. Uh, either way guys, um, the avenue, I would want to extend it over here up to this roundabout. So it will require a little bit of uh, demolishing in here, some buildings, some houses. Uh, the main reason why I haven't done it yet is because we have this elementary school in here, which will, well, I think it will have to be cut or destroyed. Uh, it's something I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do it, but further on I'll do that. It's not much of a problem and probably extend it until this uh, section. By the way, it's gonna be also a little bit tough because we already have a few other buildings in here, including police station, firehouse, a local fire station and a clinic. So these buildings, I would have to remove them. Plus, of course, the parking that, um, well, it's it would be a problem now as you guys probably notice in this city we have a lot of parks uh, or parking lots which is well it makes sense if you have a commercial area you want to have some parking uh, spots around there so this is a really small parking uh, local um, commercial area it does have uh, quite a large park for this small area but uh, yeah it's I think it works out for now uh, we may even uh, expand it eventually right now. It's a it's a residential, but we could commercially expand it We do have the shore that I want to do something around here probably uh, Do I have let me just check do I have oh, yeah, I have already tourism specialization So we could build some uh, specific tourism area around here eventually that's something to look forward uh, I don't remember which what what kind of stuff I uh, unlocked. Well, there's now the sight sightseeing bus, which is good. We do have a few uh, locations to look into the city, some parks, and 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 mostly uh, now we have a new uh, statue uh, or unique building. Uh, all right, we have the tourist specialization, oil industry specialization, also, which is something I'm not going to be doing right now. Uh, and final, oh, now we finally have these um, these roads with trees. That's that's good. I like that. And oh, of course, also pedestrian zones, which could help a lot more the infrastructure of the city. We now can also build hospitals, oil power plant, which would give us a lot more um, energy. But until now, we don't. I don't think we have any problems with energy. We also have a fire station, a bus station. Okay, we can have now a bus uh, hub station. That's cool. Um, maybe I could build this uh, in the in our central station over there. We have now also road maintenance depot. We have um, a few new parks in here. Uh, okay, we have a few more buildings to be building and stuff like that. <laughs> 
either way guys uh, another thing I built recently before uh, achieving the upgrade was this park which is the statue of wealth uh, it's important to unlock something I'm not really sure what it is what it says uh, okay it's for the space elevator okay right so cool uh, it's near a commercial area which is this one and residential around it there's another park in here it's like a large playground you know it's this is a it's a more familiar places I don't know I really don't know how you could call it but yeah I like it um, as you guys can see it's it it has kind of a grid layout but it's not a hundred percent squarish it's not like in here where you have like a perfect grid in here is a bit more um, you know crazy zoning that's South Lafayette when it comes to Lafayette Lafayette has a better we can look in here Lafayette has a better grid layout although you do have this uh, bit crazy which kind of destroyed South Lafayette so Lafayette is smaller Lafayette is bigger and um, we are almost reaching the total uh, um, you know space that we can build on Lafayette so we will soon probably next episode we will start with a different uh, district probably around here I think this would definitely be a good uh, industrial area we do have uh, you know train lines we could do, do some kind of train something in here uh, I'm not sure how it is let me just check we have a yeah we can also place in here some kind of like uh, because we have the, the the, the, the water lines we could have some kind of transportation in here maybe some kind of uh, I would go with more cargo hub but we need to reach 38,000 inhabitants or 28,000 do we have any other ones no no not really okay it doesn't doesn't matter much uh, either way regarding industries there's not much going on in here to be on honest I did place a small police station in here uh, mostly to take care of uh, the crime in here it wasn't big but there was not not enough cover so now we have a bit better cover or better covering in here I also placed a recycling center in here to take care of garbage because this was getting completely full and it is it's already 91% and this one is 62% so eventually this will become completely full I will have to build a few more landing landing field sites so that um, we can take care of all the garbage that is being produced the problem is uh, I have the only way to get rid of this is whenever we get the incineration plant and it's gonna make maybe it's gonna take a bit of a while now looking at Goya farms Goya farms did expand just a little bit it is giving us a good profit of 1000 sometimes it gives it gives it a little bit more than that but uh, overall it's it's going there it's also growing to the next level so we already have enough produced you know we have produced enough resources for quite a few next levels I think the main problem is the number of workers we have uh, up we can have up to 360 workers but it's not getting there it's not yet there we nearby we need to get to the 350 but eventually we'll get there I'm pretty much sure so we have a few small fruit fields in here we also have two cattle farms to be honest and we have this one which is a cattle shed um, all of these are going to produce or well, at least they're producing animal product products and then we have a few more farms in here small crops of course we're gonna expand them eventually when we get to the next level also we have this flour mill so everything right now it's very far away I guess that the farm would be like that I would definitely like to to see bigger fields in here probably or more fields so we could produce a lot more than we are producing right now although we do have uh, the storages are pretty much 100% they're completely full so uh, the excess is being sold or sent to the farms which is kind of a problem I don't know why but as you guys can see this one we have so much resources in here but it seems like it's completely empty you know why it's nearby the, the silo why isn't this the, the food and the crops in here going to this uh, animal pasture it's right next to it and it's always having these issues so and this definitely 
screws a little bit the production and, and, and the value because most of our money or output is coming from animal products. As you guys can see, we're already doing almost 4,000. So, yeah, it's... And we are not importing anything. We're just producing our own and exporting, selling it. So I'm not really sure why it's happening. If you guys know why, just let me know. Um, yeah, and that's basically it for the entire region and for whatever has been I've been doing. Now, uh, next steps to do in the city, which I'm not entirely sure what's going to be. I'm probably going to have to build a few more runabouts uh, with the expansion of the city. Uh, I have to look around the main, like you guys can see, the main uh, street or the main avenue. It comes from here, then it splits either this way with the runabout forward, which doesn't have much going on, or to the industrial area, which soon enough will become uh, offices, which is whenever we reach the 7,000 um, inhabitants, which is going to reach hopefully soon enough. Um, so next episode we will already will have those kind of uh, buildings. So Lafayette Industries is going to change names. We're going to remove all this pollution in here. I'm not really sure how it's going to be with the garbage. We have to take care of the garbage, of course. That means probably incineration plant, which will be unlocked at the same time. And um, we will probably keep Goya Farms in here. We do have other good locations for farms, mainly this area in here and all these areas around here these are i think these are very good farm locations so we could develop around here bigger farms than goya uh, i mean goya is nearby this section this town um, i understand why uh, i did it and if when it's a small town of course this becomes farms and all that stuff but eventually with the upgrade we can um, start building better farms somewhere else Either way, guys, that's it for now. We will see what happens next on the next episode. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon in the next episode. Cheers.